guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Chelsea. Today I'm going to be sharing nine tips for emotional healing. So whatever that means for you, for me personally, I experience a lot of burnout, whether that's from work, situations, emotions, people, stuff like that. It took me a long time to realize that it was burnout that I was feeling. I just like felt drained. Like I didn't have the motivation to do anything. Then once I figured out that it was burnout, I was able to come up with strategies to help those emotions come out and like pass so I wasn't dwelling in that negative space. So these are nine tips on how to heal yourself emotionally if you're feeling really anything just like sad, burnt out, just unhappy. Like honestly, even if you aren't feeling bad, these are just good things to do for health, you know? So the first thing is being around dogs. Really, you could be around other animals. Like if you're a cat person, a cat I guess could work. I'm definitely more of a dog person. Dogs just like give off joy. Their being has a lot of energy that they just like exert. I often find that it rubs off on me. The energetic type dogs are just so fun and goofy to be around, but then the more calm dogs that are laid back are comforting. It's like being around a grandma or something. I don't know. I find that spending time with my pets or just really any dog <laughs> really helps ground me, I guess. It just makes me so happy. Like, I just love dogs. The next tip is eating a nourishing comfort meal food you hear it time and time again is medicine it can do so much for you so eating a comfort meal is really helpful for me because a if it's nostalgic it brings me back to like a happy place b i typically gravitate towards like warming foods when i'm looking for a comfort meal so it just kind of like warms the soul but i also aim for nourishment because a lot of times if I'm feeling burnt out or tired or sad, it could be because I'm like deficient in some sort of nutrient. Even if I'm not like nutrient defend, nutrient, what, how do you say this? Even if I'm not nutrient deficient, vitamins are just so good for you. So like why not nourish yourself? But also I do want to preface this by saying if you want a food that's not quote unquote healthy, but that's going to nourish you and that's going to nourish your soul, that's what you should have. Because someone told me the other day, eating healthy, healthy foods is very important, but a lot of times we forget about the health in taking the joy from the experience of eating yummy foods and i just thought that was like a really wise thing nourishing doesn't necessarily mean it has to be high in vitamins that's great if it is if there is a comfort meal that's high in vitamins definitely go for that but if that's not going to serve you go with what's going to serve you because nourishing doesn't have to mean nutrients it can mean just good for the soul gonna bring you joy the next thing i love to do is listening to music so i have been in chorus my whole life and i've also been a dancer for like my whole life when i left high school i stopped singing because i didn't do chorus anymore and i stopped dancing i wasn't expressing my emotions through dance or through music and like last week or something i was in my car and there's a really good song on and i just started humming and then i started singing and then i was like Oh my god i like have not sung in months and it just felt so good to sing and then it kind of made me think like all at once like that i got rid of the two musical forms of expression that were huge in my life i've recently started bringing them back and it's just a huge outlet for me so that's another tip listening to music in your car singing scream singing you know do what you gotta do so if that means you gotta listen to christmas music in august do it like come on now it's not gonna kill anyone the next thing is and this one maybe will not be for everyone but sitting outside in silence now i don't recommend sitting indoors in silence because i personally will like get lost in my thoughts and then that can be detrimental in its own way but then i also will like hear the random noises in my house and i'll be like there's a burglar i am gonna die like i'll just get so anxious so many thoughts run through my head and it ends up being not productive at all. Sitting outside would be great because then I can look around, I can look at the trees, I can focus on all my senses so I can hear like the birds, I can hear the ocean, I can smell the pine, I can smell the flowers. Like then I don't get lost in my thoughts because I'm just focusing on the nature around me and that is like really healing for me. Maybe it's just because I'm from the country but yeah I, I find that really healing. The next tip is to watch a comfort movie. So for me 
that is anything from the early 2000s or a rom-com. I love Legally Blonde, 10 Things I Hate About You, Princess Protection Program, Princess Diaries. I love Eloise, the live action one. Home Alone, that's a good one. Anything like that that's like really comforting. Cadet Kelly, The Parent Trap, oh, oh, It Takes Two anything like that it brings back the nostalgia that i was talking about earlier with like the food and it just like is very comforting for me at least and it's a very relaxing activity where again you don't get lost in your thoughts the next thing this is like really important is to wear clothes that are comfy and you feel good in for me i love wearing sweat sets because obviously it's sweatpants and a sweatshirt like i'm comfy but i also feel good in it because because it's a set i feel put together i'll also do like a slick back hair look so that that way I'm still comfy, but I also feel put together. I don't feel lazy. Like, I don't feel like I'm just in my PJs. The next thing is redecorating your space. So for me, I like to make the colors in my space very bright. I stick to like whites and blues. Blue is a really calming color, but also white is just bright. Like it brightens up any space. Whereas if I focused on a lot of black, it would just like darken my space. So I try to keep my space light. I focus on blues and pinks and glitter and like sparkles because that just like brings joy. And yeah, just try to add deck decorations that bring you joy like remind you of something or stuff like that just redecorate your space it can completely change your mindset because you're not stuck in like the memories of your old decorations or like i don't know that always just helps me is to change up the look of my space so these next two tips are for if you're feeling anxiety or anxiousness or fear and you just need a really quick fix to ground yourself really fast and bring you back because like sometimes when i get anxious i like i snap out like i'm just like not present at all i just like go into fight or flight so one thing that's really helpful for me is touching something of an extreme temperature so i keep an orange in the freezer which sounds really weird but then when i'm anxious i can just hold on to the cold orange and it just brings me back because it's such an extreme temperature the other thing is making a cup of tea and just holding on to the cup obviously be careful you don't burn yourself or get frostbite but extreme temperatures that just like reground you it like brings you back because it's such an extreme temperature and then the next thing is calling someone you love so if i'm feeling really intense emotions and i just need to distract myself obviously it's not a long-term fix you can't just distract yourself from everything but in the moment if i just need to take my mind off something calling someone i love probably my mom or one of my sisters would be my top most common resort but if you have a close friend a brother dad aunt uncle grandma grandpa literally anything that's just always really helpful and if you want to talk to them about what you're feeling sure but if you don't that's totally fine too just catch up with them check in with them see how they're doing stuff like that those are all of my tips that i could think of for emotional healing burnout support stuff like that i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and check out my socials i post a lot of fashion food dogs and wellness stuff so make sure to check that out i post a lot of yummy recipes i just came out with a cookies and cream donut that's delish so don't want to miss out on that and i appreciate you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye